Funeral services for a newborn baby found at a recycling center in Sioux Falls earlier this month will be held tomorrow morning. Very little is known about Gabriel James, as he is now being called. Police are still looking for clues about where he came from and how his little body ended up in recycling. Tomorrow, Miller Funeral Home and a nonprofit called the Oakland Foundation will hold a funeral service. They are encouraging everyone to attend tomorrow morning at 1030 at the Southside Chapel at 7400 South Minnesota. Well, as the Sioux Falls community pays its respects to baby Gabriel, we recall another case where the public had a chance to do the same thing for another young life lost too soon. Kelloland's Dan Centella takes us back through our archives to remember baby Andrew. On a cold February day in 1981, a driver pulled off of Sycamore Avenue to turn around and noticed a blanket on the edge of a farm field. Inside that blanket was a newborn baby. Even though investigators couldn't find the boy's family, he was given a name and community members came together for a funeral for baby Andrew. We should reach out to people like Andrew's mother and all people that are hurting. Adults and kids alike came together to say goodbye to the stranger in a tiny casket. I would like her to know the baby was well taken care of. The memorial for baby Andrew included efforts from a church, lawyer, funeral home, and cemetery, who all donated services. A Sioux Falls couple volunteered to arrange the funeral and his burial at St. Michael's Cemetery. And in addition to this outpouring of love for little baby Andrew, contributions in his name went to a special fund for abused children. Dan Centella, Kelloland News. After a break in the case, thanks to DNA evidence, baby Andrew's mother, Teresa Bentos, eventually pleaded guilty in 2021 to first-degree manslaughter in connection with the death of her son.